Stardew Valley just got its very own board game. Yeah, that's right. Concerned Ape tweeted out today, February 23rd, announcing the new launch of Stardew Valley, the board game, which has apparently been in the works for over two years. Concerned Ape also showed a trailer to this new game, and you'll see a bunch of familiar faces in it if you have played the video game before. So in this video, we're going to dive into what exactly this board game is, how you can play it, and all of that good stuff. So if you're a fan of Stardew Valley, hit that like button and let's dive in. So this is a board game that you can play with up to four people with, and it is for ages 13 and up. Basically what you're going to do is go through a full year in the game, and it takes about 45 minutes to play per player. You can solo this if you want to, and from what I can tell so far about this game, you can sort of adjust it to how you want to play it. So just like how in the video game you choose to focus on whatever it is that you're more interested in, it seems like the board game has this same kind of premise where you can play as you want. Concerned Abe does say that this game was designed to have some depth and complexity, but it is not considered a short and casual game to play. There are rules that you're going to have to learn, but once you learn them, it should be easy, according to them. Also on this page, you can download the rule book for Stardew Valley, which includes everything you need to know about the game, as you can see here. So it does seem like there's a lot to it. It's giving you in-depth instructions on everything you need to know. Here we could see this one on friendship. And of course, my girl Penny is right there. Now, essentially what you're going to do in this game is protect Stardew Valley from the Joja Corporation. And just like in the video game, you'll start repairing up the town until it is brought back to its former glory and Joja Corp is actually driven from town. And you're gonna do this by completing your very own grandpa's goals and just like what you're familiar with, also restoring the community center. Now while the premise will be the same every time you play, Concerned Ape does note that each time you play the game it is randomized on what your goals are from grandpa, so therefore it will give the game some more playability the more that you decide decide to pick it up again. So as you begin the game, you're going to start off with your tools and low skills. And as you progress, you're going to be able to advance your tools just like you would in the game, as well as gain those new skills by completing objectives. You'll still be able to forage and get the resources you need. And yes, NPCs are in this game. So you are going to be able to become friends with them and unlock unique gifts in the process. Now, based on what we can see from this photo, it looks like the board itself is the map of Star Dew Valley with a bunch of lines directing you to the different places in the town. We can see some of the items that allow you to build up your farm, such as the barn and the stables. We can also see the different kinds of fish that you can catch, as well as hearts, which are probably to advance your relationships with NPCs. And then right there, we can see some lovely gold coins and a pouch. Now, besides this, it does look like all of the items that you would find in the actual video game are going to be included in this one. And yes, the mine are there too because we can tell from this right here that we see not only a monster but some of the ores and geodes that you would collect in that level of the mine. So this game seems really unique. I love that it has some sort of complexity to it and I think that for those who have played Stardew and are really familiar with the game this should be no trouble at all to try and figure out. Now this game is available in the Stardew Valley shop for 55 US dollars but unfortunately it only ships within the United United States right now. They do say that they're working to make this available outside of the US, but there's no date as to when that would be, which is sort of unfortunate. But yeah, I will definitely be picking up this game. And of course, I'll give you a closer look at it once I do have the game. Maybe we can do an unboxing together. But let me know down in the comments below what you think about all of this. Did you know that it was coming? And are you excited to play this board game? Let me know. Anyway, if you like this video, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe for more gaming content. I appreciate all of your support and I will see you in the next video.